Great atmosphere, fans on our side, fans on their side. Just a, a great opportunity in this venue and the way they treat the teams to come in here and have an opportunity to play. It says a lot about their appreciation of baseball and to open the facility up in the locker rooms and give us access and let the guys have a really good day. That's the first part of this that is very nice. Our response today was as good a response as I've ever seen of any team I've ever coached. You know, I've won Super Regionals, and you might lose game two and have to win game three, and that's a, obviously a great moment in response. That response of those guys in the dugout that went through just an agonizing three-game series and an eight-hour bus ride home to jump back on the bus, to roll in here the way we felt, I cannot say enough about their response and delivery of a great performance today. Florida's a really good team. You guys know that. We have a good team. This is a midweek grinder, and I could not be more pleased with the response. Top to bottom, everyone that was involved in the game, the guys that were not involved in the game, to involve themselves in helping this and preparing, it's as good a response as I've ever seen from a baseball team. What does that say about the team in the long term for this season? The way that I know they've done it before this season, responding just for them to do that again in that way. What does it say about them? Well, they've responded in moments that you assess as a coach that may not be as obvious to everybody else as a game like this. Like I see them answer when a team scores. I see them respond defensively with some really good moments at key times. I've seen responses. But the pitch-by-pitch pitch dissection of this game and how they approach every pitch of this game, that stands out a lot. And we talked about it before we got on the bus. Like You have to be able to perform in this environment. If there was not one person in this stadium watching the game, you have to be able to answer and respond and deliver a performance regardless of the circumstances or the team that you're playing. And they executed that today as well as you could ask. Like top to bottom, first pitch to last, I'm, I'm just so proud of the way they answered today. John on Saturday just didn't look like himself, and then to, to come back down here today and do what he did in that moment, just, just what does it say about him? Well, Micah, we had to regroup some of these guys, and Micah talked a lot to the guys yesterday, and like what did we do well and what did we not? And when you're at your best, what are you doing? And when he's at his best, he's banging his breaking pitches in there. He's got his feel for his change, and he moves the fastball around. So he, he was great, and we had 50 pitches etched as really the top end of this. And you could see he had it going a little bit, and we had the momentum. And it was nice to just feel comfortable with a freshman in this situation to just let him go. And he got right where we thought he needed to get to, and it lined up. I think Ox was next. So, again, the work – that Micah does with these guys. Like, you saw it today. I, what did they have, three three hits? Um, just well executed. Micah called a great game. And the fellas have to go perform and deliver and execute the pitches, and he did. Coach. Daniel Cantu had five RBIs tonight. He's a local guy playing out here. What does he mean to your team in this program? Well, he's an experienced, savvy player. And the swings stood out. As much as the swings to me, the two plays he made at first base where he came off the base, grabbed it, tied the runner, two plays in a row, I think. And then to end the game on the, on the pop-up in this win, it was a great play. And he's a huge part of this. And he does things at first base that blend in and don't stand out maybe to the casual person half paying attention to the game, but he's very smart and he works really hard. For him to come into this and have this experience and performance and help us answer the way he did, I, I was so happy he, he was the one that got to break it down after the game. I'm really proud and, and just happy for him. How big of a tone set was that? His three-run double first. Well, you feel the momentum is hanging there. If you don't have a good at-bat and deliver something there, it really feels like they came out of it having scored. So just a huge at-bat, big, like momentum grabber, lead grabber, and Caglione's kind of wiped it out in the, in the bottom, but a huge at-bat. Scoring in your last five innings, what was the approach for the guys? What do you think was 
key to that? Well, they're prepared. I, I think our assistants do so much work to prepare the scouting report information. So when you walk up there, you have an idea of what this might look like, and that's helpful. And we're talking hours of work to prepare for this. And we've already seen them, but it doesn't mean the stuff's the same. There's more data that's available. So I think that helps. But you saw this team pitch by pitch lock it in like I haven't seen teams do very often. And so that concentration level obviously helps the overall I think, visibility of the pitches and what you swing at and what you take. It's the first time since 2015 that Florida State's beaten Florida in a regular season series. I know you weren't here for a lot of those, but you're a knoll. What, what does that mean? Well, it's big. Like, this is – the guys mark this on the calendar. They do. Like, you know when these games are. You know you got one at each spot, and then you have this site, which is really cool. Um, these guys know most of the players on that team. You know, you're recruiting stuff, the things you, you talk about. Clearly, they're an outstanding, deep, talented program. That's why it's hard to win a series against them. So, I'm happy for the guys. I had no idea that was the case. You know, I kind of am concerned with the like the execution of it. The execution of it and the details of the game lead you to having chances to win series. And the guys prove that today just by the pitch by pitch performance. We've seen Drew, Drew consistently perform and produce, but I don't think we've seen the power impact come out until tonight. You might expect it. Just, how good is it to see that, that coming out? It's huge. You know, to hit the home run the other way and then the grand slam, I think, was a breaking ball that, that he got beautifully through. I mean, he's talented, and he, like the other guys, he works very hard, like tireless worker on his game. And that kind of earns you like, these opportunities when you put in the time and you're confident about what you're doing when you walk up there. And he, he's talented, and he's delivering, and he works at it. Let's do one more for you. And Joe, I think he picked up his first career win tonight, and he's just someone that hasn't been able to get on the mound because of health the last three years. Just since you've been here, how have you seen him try to work back to get on the mound? And how good is it just to see him consistently out there? Well, I saw him fight through a lot. And you see flashes of that really good breaking ball. And it just hasn't made it out there consistently enough to learn, you know, the capabilities or the role. But you're starting to see that take shape now. And there's some really good sliders in there. And he's still – there's some that he feels for a little bit, but when he bangs it in there and really is aggressive with it, it's a very useful, helpful, weaponizing pitch. So as we lengthen out today, like it lengthened out a little bit, I think that's the most he's thrown pitch count wise this year and, and probably in his college time if he went back and looked at it. But again, a guy that's worked and waited and worked and rehabbed and it's nice to see somebody see the fruits of that labor in this setting.